previously. What do you want? I've seen the way the wind's blowing. Been watching my authority bleed away ever since you got here. Now the beast is in Moomeray. I cannot stop that thing by myself. <laughs> but together. All together. Well, we'd be heroes. Oh. I get it. That sounds real interesting. Only I have a little suspicion that the moment you got your chance, you would stab me in the back. What's going on, guys? My name is Casper Meter, and this is gonna be episode number 20 of my Let's Play of Infamous 2. We are going towards the next mission. If you remember when we left off, we just got power back to this industrial area. It's kinda huge, nice place. Um, there's mission, okay. Not too far away. I see there's more evil missions we can do, but I'm not gonna do them right now. I think I'm kinda more focused on the story right now. A bit more interesting. There's a pigeon there. Hi there, you shit. Nice. Long since I've found one of these, I gotta say. And there's one of my little guys. Observations of subject 881, file C152. Today we had a surprise visit at the lab. One of Bertrand's charter buses unloaded 52 men with curious accents requiring medical screening. Every one of them was in top physical condition. Like soldiers, veterans. I called one over to review his file and asked him about the symbol on his duck. He admitted they were from Wehrmark 88 private military firm out of South Africa. During the examination, I discovered scar tissue covering his body, landmine, shrapnel, bullets, machetes. The whole group was similarly decorated. Needless to say, the exams took longer than expected. I thought perhaps Bertrand was recruiting some new muscle. Subject 881 was surprised I wasn't better informed and became tight-lipped. He did let slip that, in fact, Bertrand was the one being paid. Then he laughed at my expression. Why was Bertrand being paid? He refused to say. Many more buses followed. Hmm. So that's a little story behind how the ice soldiers were made. Someone was paying Bertrand to make the ice soldiers. Hmm. A little interesting. I'm at the warehouse. Are you sure we're going to find a blast core here? I heard it from one of my militia buddies. They said it was in a crate, stamped with the militia symbol. You be killing people over here? That's not good. Crate with the militia... Oh, there's thousands of them. Found a safe in one of the crates. Woo! This will be the easiest blast core we ever got. Go on, crack it open. No, no blast cores. I did find some property deeds. Three other warehouses. Hmm. Okay. Well, maybe we got the right idea, but the wrong warehouse. But hell, looks like we gotta search them all. That's what I'm talking about. The first warehouse I check. And it's fucking the right one. Are there guards here, or are they... Oh, they're on top! Okay. Come here, shits. Oh, that was a... I killed one of my own. Come on. Spawn, you younglings. More. 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 And we will take over this place. Shit. I need that drain, though. Okay, now we can check out the maximum drain. Uh, which is supposed to give me maximum power. Oh, yeah. Okay, I'm shaking with electricity. That's kind of cool. Not dead? No, it's not that guy. Where the fuck is he? Oh, there you are. Yeah. How about now? Ice guys are out here in force. They could be after the blast call, man. Better step it up. As a TV, nothing showing, however. Uh, let's see if I can't. Okay, let's start here. Nothing really. Can 
Let's see anything else here. Maybe something over. I don't know. There's one. Okay, let's get up top. Are they really that hard to see? Now I'm out of power as well. Oh, that's a good fucking plan. My god. There's something up higher up. Oh, yeah, it is. Wow, I'm dumb. Didn't see this ladder. Probably some. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, I need that power. This is the last one. Of course, it's this one. Yeah. Like, who would have guessed? That's a blast shard. Still no blast core. Yeah, pretty Ooh, good. You know? I'm sure there's a blast core out there. Let's keep looking. Sneaky, sneaky. Don't want to fight it. Oh, there's a lot of guards there. Yeah, he spotted me. Uh, I'm just gonna say, I don't give a fuck. And continue running, even though they're right behind me. Is it an entrance to this place? I don't know. I'm considering to use my super drain power. Hi there, Fox. They're probably gonna fight each other, which is a good advantage for me. Even though I'm killing all the monster guys and ignoring the nice guys. Where the fuck am I supposed to go, Zeke? Okay, so now I got some air in there. That's good. Ice guys, you fucking wanna die or what? You just signed your death warrant. Shits. Try to poison me with your shit. Boom. Come on. What? I can't hit this guy? There you go. That one's pretty sweet. Okay, something here. This one's ha it has has something. Nothing. Nope. Man, I'm sorry. Look, maybe uh, maybe we should just call it. No, no, no. There is one more warehouse to try. There's got to be a reason for our position. Yeah, indeed. Big guy. Okay. Yeah, not gonna happen. Snakes on the motherfucking plane. <laughs> Uh, get some power. Run. Don't want to fight this guy at all. Come on, boys. Protect the yeah, protect it against ice freaks, not against me. Boom, goes the dynamite. Oh, there's a ton of guys here. What the fuck? Both ice freaks and militia guys, I guess. Let's do some drain stuff. For good measures. I don't know if I get anything, but maybe I get something nice. Yeah, that guy's dead. Hi there, Fox. Destroying some shit, that's all kind of fun. Bertrand's got a parts in his head. Okay. That's just good for me. You can't see me or some shit? Let's kill this guy as well. The true focus on the ice guys to notice me. Which is, you know, good enough. Where is this thing? Come on. There's a couple of crates here, but... Oh, there you go. Oh my god! What the... That dude looks fucking badass. Oh, I need to drain that shit. Titan! Oh, that I'm missing so bad. Okay, I need to drain. Sorry, sorry, I have to kill you. I know you're helping me, but... Oh my god, I didn't mean to do that. 
Let's drain our oh, come on. Okay, maybe I should just drain some. I don't know. I don't know what I'm draining. This guy is going down. Quite. Oh, come. Stop rotating. There you go. Both his arms are down and his power is bad. Oh, oh, there's a quick time thing. Mash, mash, mash. I'm mashing, I'm mashing, I'm mashing. Quick time event, okay. Oh, there's his fucking head. That's one ugly motherfucker. You should be going down quite soon here if I can just. Okay, I'm just gonna drain to get maximum power. Even though I don't kill anyone, I'm just still gonna get maximum power, so. That's pretty much all I'm interested in right now. Get that power. Yeah, it should be going down. So just keep. I'm just spamming triangle right now. Try to hit him with the rockets. Where's your weak point? There he goes. Or. No? Yeah? You're dead, yeah? There you go. Yeah. He looks really messed up. Bitch. You'd be dead. I hate those eyes guys. So annoying. Militia, they're okay. Well, guess what, Zeke? Anything good? Oh yeah. We're real happy. Oh, and there's a bonus. Looks like I found Bertrand's briefcase. I thought Bertrand created these monsters simply to win back the respect of Numeray. But no. God, it is so much bigger. I see invoices for forced conduits to be shipped all over the world. Boxed product supermen for sale to any warlord with cash. Unreal. <laughs> this guy's gonna single-handedly start a new arms race. All nations fighting for control of people of mass destruction. That's weird though. I mean, could this really be just about the money? When the guy just gives it all away? What's he doing? Is he trying to buy respect? Pay his way into heaven? No. Doesn't make sense. A guy like that? He's out to save the world, some grand old testament kind of way. I'm just not seeing the whole picture yet. Yeah, what's going on here? Well, I, I completely forgot about that cat's in there. The Bertrand was gonna sell the soldiers, wow. Interesting plot twist there, you guys eh? So? What was in the case? I'm still trying to figure that out. You sound tired. Swing on by, take a load off. Yeah, maybe I better show you my new blast core. Uh, yeah, that's gonna be the next episode. I just want to do like one of the pigeons before I end this. There was a couple around in this area, but uh, where the fuck are they now? Something around here, maybe? Nope. Where the hell are they? Just want to do one more pigeon. Okay, let's see. Uh, there's probably yeah, there's over here or there's something. I'm pretty sure. Oh yeah, I I'm far away from like maximum evil stuff. That light thing you have to go straight down. I'm kind of famous, but I'm not like I'm not trying to present evil. I can still be more evil. I'm pretty sure that's like. Oh my god. I'm pretty sure you get a trophy for being on top of that building because it's the highest building in the game. But I don't have my superpower. Okay, fuck that shit. Oh my god. Oh my god. I gotta run. I gotta run. Gotta, gotta run. Gotta run. Gotta run. These guys are fast. Is there some pigeons or some shit around there? Fuck. 
you guys. You want some? You want some? You bitch? Let's get that drain though. Bitch. Perfect. I shouldn't want to take this. Yeah, there's a pigeon. Okay, I want to listen to some story stuff. Kind of interesting. Uh, let's just kill this guy first. Oh, thinking you. Oh, thinking you're fine. Bitch. Thank you. Indeed. All right. Oh, there's you. Oh, hi there. Audio surveillance of Agent Lucy Quo, file G84. I realize you placed a lot of faith in me, Quo. I want to be deserving of that faith. And right now you're not? I need to confess something to you. The NSA asked me to record our conversations without your knowledge. What? Why? They never told me. Perhaps it's because you carry the conduit gene, I don't know. How often do you... All the time. If you like, I can submit copies to you along with my regular reports. I'm on your side. Huh, interesting. Okay, let's see the next one. And then I'm gonna end it, this episode. Audio surveillance of Joseph Bertrand, file B146. What kind of lemon are you trying to sell me, Doctor? The transfer device works precisely as... No! Okay, the fuck, I have to listen to it again then. This one probably? Audio surveillance of Joseph Bertrand, file yeah. B146. What kind of lemon are you trying to sell me, Doctor? The transfer device works precisely as designed. We are seeing an 86% power exchange rate between individual conduits. But what you're trying to do. I'm trying to turn a profit, Doctor. You're. Fancy machines cost money. Splitting the power stream among multiple recipients is dangerous. The results could be highly unstable. As long as it works, we're in business. Make it work. Interesting. That's what he did to Quo. He transferred his, her power onto his soldiers. I paid a visit to the First Sun's dorms where the Wehrmacht men were housed. Subject 881 approached me and we took a walk. Recording follows. You seem agitated, Doctor. I figured out what Bertram has in store for you. He's going to use the transfer device, isn't he? Sorry. No, I can't say. Do you know where the conduit is? I just can't comment on this. You need to know something. The transfer procedure was never designed to split abilities among multiple recipients. I don't know what it'll do. You just got my attention. Theoretically, you'll all be overclocked, so to speak. You'll receive a portion of the true conduit's power, but your body will wear itself out trying to sustain it. You may go insane. Why are you telling me this, Doctor? Bertrand, you wouldn't like it. I'm not a brave man. If I'm right and you and your men lose control, and I'll have far more to fear from you than Bertrand. Alright. Getting some of that backstory though. I'm gonna get all the all the data things before we finish this because I wanna hear the story about Bertrand, it's gang. But anyway, thanks for watching this one guys, hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.